Well, folks, I really love doing technology and gadget reviews, but never in a million years would I have ever guessed I'll be doing a water filter review. And yet, we are here today. I have an issue with the old pure filter. Um, it is leaking, and I'll show you that in a moment. And I, when I was looking at a replacement, I noticed one of the newer models has uh, Bluetooth capabilities. And at the moment of this video, there is very little to no reviews in the world about this new technology. So I figured, okay, I'll go ahead and get it, check it out, and see what kind of uh, features this one has with the Bluetooth capability. So we'll be taking a look at it now. And the reason I'm replacing the old filter is not because of the Bluetooth technology. Of course, that would not be a very good use of money. Uh, but the old one is actually leaking. So if I turn this on, you'll start seeing that it is starting to leak right here from the seam. And if you're going to increase the water pressure, it is actually shooting water all over the place. Actually, I need to move the camera back. So uh, that is the reason why we're replacing this. It's already out of warranty. I think they're giving one to two year warranty on the old one. The new one does come with a two year warranty. So in the box we'll have the filter housing and the mount uh, that goes on the faucet. Looks like we have three adapters that may be necessary for some faucets. The filter itself and then instructions with a $2 off manufacturer's coupon. Just like the other pure filters, this one does feature the indicator lights. So we'll get green when the filter is working, orange when it is about to change the filter, and then red when uh, you actually do need to change the filter, which is about every 100 gallons or three months. One downside is that this filter housing does not feature replacement battery option. So the battery that is coming with that filter is sealed. So there is no way to change that. When the battery runs out, of course, the indicator lights will stop working. And unfortunately, your Bluetooth connectivity will stop working as well. Um, I think if they had a replacement battery option that would have uh, made things much much better. Uh, of course only time will tell for how long this current battery will last. So to install the filter housing mount um, there is already threads here so it may fit your faucet before even needing an adapter so give that a try first. If you have internal threads then you'll need an adapter for sure but for external threads like we have here it doesn't look like we'll need an adapter. All right, and now we'll go ahead and install the filter. Make sure your hands are clean, of course, before touching the filter. And now we'll go ahead and download the Pure app on the Android or any other smartphone that you have, such as iOS, from the App Store. Okay, so following the instructions, once the app was installed, we'll go ahead and open it and set it up. It says, Welcome Pure. Terms and conditions. To help us improve our app, Pure would like to periodically collect usage data from your faucet. No. So here's the information it is requesting to proceed and set it up. It wants the first name, last name, gender, email address, zip code, looks like that is not required, how many in your household, and your birthday. Um, the required fields are first name, last name, your gender, I'm not sure why in the world that is a required field, and your email address. Hmm. Okay, so once you fill out your information, we'll go ahead and proceed. Press next. We can sync your personal hydration data to your favorite health app. I'll skip that. Here they give you instructions on how to install the filter or the faucet mount or how to connect it to Bluetooth. Since we already installed the filter, we'll go ahead and do the setup. Enable Bluetooth on your smart device. Make sure your smart device is in a close proximity to your pure faucet filter. We'll press next. Turn on your faucet, then turn the pure filter on. Water must be running through the filter. All right. <sighs> Looks like you cannot set it up unless they do get your GPS coordinates. which is unfortunate, but okay. So 
once you give them your GPS coordinates, then they will allow you to go ahead and proceed. It says success. All right, so uh, at this point we finally got the app running. It tells us it is a 99%. Of course, it has a brand new filter. Uh, let's see, one gallon used. So here we got a pop-up that a firmware update is available for the filter. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. So as the filter is off, I'll go ahead and turn it back on. And then we'll go ahead and say okay. And then see what happens. Do not close the app. Keep this mobile device near you. Pure faucet, you may turn off your water. Excellent. I was kind of afraid we have to keep the water running while it does that. And the app has crashed. I already told you no. Let's try it one more time. So here it is giving us information how much water is running. We'll go ahead and back out of it. Well, it's been a while now and we have no progress. I'll have to look at the video in terms of getting how long it has been. I thought it will only take a few minutes, uh, but for the first few minutes the housing on the filter was blinking just as you can see here in the picture. And then a few minutes after that it stopped blinking, the progress stopped, and we're not getting anything light-wise on the filter. So I'm going to show you what's happening on the actual filter when we're using the water now. So the firmware screen is still there, nothing is happening here. Initially the lights were blinking here for the first few minutes, then they stopped. But now when we turn on the faucet, obviously the water is still running through it. We're getting no indications here whatsoever. And after the firmware update, here is what we have. No indicator lights or anything on the filter. Firmware update available. I think the filtering aspect still is working, but in terms of all this technology, I think it's all dead. So for those folks that do end up getting this, and if it does work, uh, I'll just show you a little bit of the statistics that we were able to get before running into the firmware issue. On the first page, it will give you uh, the health of the filter information, 98%, obviously, it is a new filter. It will give you the current uh, daily intake. 
uh, when the water is running you'll get to see that and then it looks like there's gonna be, would have been some history here if we go to the next page it will give you some savings information so for example we used up two uh, gallons of uh, filtered water that prevented us from uh, buying 14 water bottles equivalent which would have saved us three dollars and then here we can take a look at some of the water download history that it, we had while it was still working so initially you can see we, I let some water run uh, when we just installed the filter and then we tried different uh, water usage uh, statistics here throughout the time frame before running into our wonderful wonderful firmware issue and then of course if you click on the shopping cart then it'll give you ways for you to purchase the filter so had this worked uh, we would have had a little bit more statistics but essentially this is what's available within the app all right, so we're at the end of the road here. Uh, we tried a few things with customer service. Unfortunately, we were not able to get it to work. Uh, so I was advised to return it to the place of purchase. Uh, unfortunately, in my case, I have to ship it back because that was actually an online order for me. Uh, 